Welcome to this short demonstration on the Interact stock issue system. When we're using the jobs module within Interact, there is a number of different types of transactions that we can put costs back to the job. One of them is to remove items from our warehouse and issue them to the job. That could involve sending the materials on site or just issuing them to the workshop. If we're running through job estimating on a uh, project, once we win the job, the details of what we need for the job are transferred through from the estimate through to the budget. Part of that process checks the materials, so here we need 68 sheets of gibrock. It sees that we've got none available in stock, so it's putting all of those uh, to be purchased. There is a video that runs through how to do purchase orders um, specific to jobs. This isn't that video. So under the transactions and processes for the screen, we've got options to either use the auto stock issues or the manual stock issues. The system normally has automatic features uh, that can be used to process data. So if we've got hundreds of products that we're wanting to take from the warehouse and put to the job, the auto stock issue is going to be the quickest way to do that because we're going to be able to get the system to look at the information of what should be available and only issue those items. But if we only wanted to send out a small number of items, or perhaps we haven't done a job budget, we can use the manual stock issues to do the issue here. The auto process just asks us whether we wanted to issue the gross amount, ignoring what's in stock, so look at what the job needs and take everything, or only the items that are available, or only the items uh, that are remaining uh, to be issued. So we can see here that it's pulled through a delivery docket for that stock issue. We can see the sheets of gibrock that we were looking at before have come through, the 68 sheets of them with the part number and the description. But we've also got a whole bunch of uh, other products that were needed in other phases or sections of the work. It's giving us down here a total quantity of what's going out, as well as the total weight and area for sign-off for that. When we're manually issuing the items, all we need to do is to come through to either this budgeted list and add it on the items that we're wanting to send that were already in the budget, or the non-budgeted items to add in items uh, from anywhere in the product database. If what we're wanting to send out isn't a product, but perhaps something that we've uh, constructed or uh, manufactured within the other system specifically for this job, not necessarily using the manufacturing system, we can use this non-product stock issues to be able to add in other items. So we're sending out some chair legs. So when we come uh, into here the, to the delivery docket, we can see that those chair legs are now appearing on there, that we need two of those going out on this particular delivery. An area down here to sign off. This is an alternate print for the delivery docket uh, that's available as well. We do have the option to also print a picking slip if we'd prefer to send down to the warehouse to say these are the items we expect you to find, how many of them should be in stock, which location to find them in, how many to grab out, who's going to be transporting it, who checked it and who picked it. If you're wanting to know more about the job costing transactions or estimating or other parts of the system, there are other videos that cover those topics or contact sales at interact.com.au. Thank you.